Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I'll be speaking to you today about permanent magnets, specifically the two types of magnetic field cancellations. There are two ways to cancel the field of permanent magnets, not destroy them, but cancel them. Those two are, one, flux cancellation, and two, field force cancellation. The first, or flux cancellation, can be done with Hallback Arrays. That's H-A-L-B-A-C-H. Hallback Arrays. Many examples are on Yahoo, Google, and YouTube. Hallback Arrays use several or more permanent magnets in specific arrangements. The flux is squeezed to one side. An illustration of this. As you can see, Written, pardon me, drawn in black are the magnets. Inside the magnets are arrows. They are, they are in red. Those arrows are pointing in the direction of which the north and south poles are oriented in respects to the magnets themselves. And the red above the magnets is the flux. As you can tell at, that the flux is almost all of it is at the top of the magnets and virtually none of it is at the bottom. That means at the bottom it's almost canceled or close or can be canceled. The second or field force cancellation is done by putting a piece of metal, highly mag magnetizable metal, steel or what have you, of an exact thickness, exact length, and exact width between two permanent magnets in the exact middle between them. An illustration of this. As you can see, you have two magnets, magnet A and magnet B, and between both magnets in their exact middle is a piece of cancellation metal of an exact thickness, exact width, and exact length. The magnets themselves, if you look inside the magnets, you will see north is pointed toward north. That means the magnets are repelling. What does this mean? That means since the magnets repel each other, but they are also attracted to the metal. They are attracted to the metal with a force of plus one and repelling each other with a force of minus one. Hence, plus one minus one equals zero, or cancellation. Too much metal and the magnets will stick to the metal. Too little metal and the magnets will stay repelling each other. If one magnet is closer to the metal than the other magnet, then the magnets that is closest to the metal will stick to the metal because it's off-middle. Magnets and metal must be equally distant from and along the middle line at all times. Now let's experiment. No believing, no religion, no hearsay, but simple science. Experimentation, in other words, to find out the truth of a thing. Hold on. I'm going to change the camera from one place to the other. Now, okay, what we have here are two magnets repelling each other. This is made of wood. It is a simple wood setup. Right here holds the brass tubes. There are two tubes. One, they slide back and forth in each other so that the magnets can slide back and forth. As you see here. The, uh, Hi, how are yes, you doing so give, Yeah, give me about 15 more minutes oh. and you can have it. Now, the screws hold the cancellation metal in place. I will show you the cancellation metal. As you can see it, it's right here between the magnets. There you go. Pull the magnets back. 
push the magnets in to make certain everything is ready to go. The metal is cancel the cancellation metal is simply spark plug gap blades. You can get this at our parts stores. There's about 30 to 35 of them in a set for about five or six dollars. The magnets are small, they cost about 25 cents a piece. These are of different thicknesses in millimeters. This one here is a zero, pardon me, a point zero. 0 0.021 and at the bottom here is a 0 0.53 millimeter. These are different thicknesses. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of cardboard here and put a piece of cardboard on the other side of the cancellation metal right here between the two of them and I'm going to push the magnets together like this against the cardboard against the cancellation metal because the magnets must stay the magnets must stay equally distant away from the metal at all times equally distant and the first thing I'm going to do is slowly pull the cardboard out slowly slowly Okay, one's done. Easy does it. And, okay, I'm going to pull the other one out slowly. Slowly. And there she blows. The magnets are attracted to to the metal but they are repelling repelling each other pushing each other away but they are doing it with equal force the magnets are attracted with a strength of plus one to the metal and the magnets are repelling each other with a strength of minus one plus one minus one equals zero and that means cancellation. I'm going to take this piece of paper. The piece of paper is thinner, thinner than this piece of cardboard. And I'm going to pass this piece of paper through between the magnets and the cancellation metal. Right here. Now I'm going to go to this side and pass it through, like that, just like that, whoa, once again, once again on this side, on this side, now on that side, pass it through, easy, there it is, this is what's called field force cancellation, a piece of metal uh, of an exact thickness, exact length, exact width is put between the metals, pardon me, between the magnets in the middle, exact middle, and their fields, attraction and repulsion, will cancel each other. Remember that the cancellation is along the X coordinate line. The X coordinate line. The Y coordinate, the X coordinate line is horizontal. The X coordinate line is up and down or vertical. And if you pull this metal out, the metal will go back between the magnets. If you pull them this way, side to side, that's the Z, Z coordinate line. And the metal will pull back into the magnets. The cancellation is along the X coordinate line. I want to thank you all of you for watching and have a very good day.